Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get ready called Talisman that increases our rune gain by 20%. So I don't have it equipped right now, but if we go down to uh, this thing here called the Golden Scarab, Gold Scarab, it increases our rune gains by 20%. It doesn't say how much it increases it by, but it is 20%. I'll show you in a bit when I've showed you how to get it. Alright, so where we need to be is inside uh, the Kaelid area. Now, um, to get here, you might have to wait until a little bit in the future further on in the game that's what i highly recommend because this area is quite difficult i would say it's probably the hardest area in the game maybe the second hardest area i don't know um but to get here really easily if you want to get here from the start of the game that is uh you start here normally don't you so you want to get up here and follow this path to get to this bit where you normally go for progression now these two options you can go down the path here across this bridge and then go right up and then to the third church america now from here there's like a couple of jumping pad sort of things going up here and you can get up on the top of this cliff at where this path is now i do not recommend you go to this one there is an npc invader that will probably kick your ass in a low level so i highly recommend you go right past this and grab this one here and now you're going to want to follow down this path until you get to this telescope here. And right here there's a, um, a bonfire. A graze, sorry. And the other path you want to go is, as I said before, go up here. And then continue with the main story of the game until you get to the Stormhill Shack. And then you're going to want to go to the right. And then all the way up on this path here. Across this swamp a bit. And then back where... Down here. So from this bonfire here, we now have this big sort of like m molten brick wall. I don't know why these things are just lying around. They're kind of weird. Um, so you're going to want to follow this all the way up. Now I'm going to get on horse real quick on torrent because it takes a while. So you're going to want to follow this until you get to like a cliff edge, which will be just down here uh, past this like tree and keep going and then we get to this cliff edge right here now i missed this originally and i can't find it later when i came back it's kind of hidden so you might miss it uh go up onto this rock here and as you can see there's like a sort of an area down here so we can drop down and then get on torrent again and you're gonna want to jump across here now you might die it's unlikely it's a pretty easy jump but a lot of people seem to have died there <laughs> so inside here this is going to be grizz like most caves i'm going to put on my lantern right now so you can see a bit there so there's going to be a lot of um scarlet rot down here it's kind of an annoying area so i highly recommend you equip some of these things the preserving boluses uh, which get rot build up now these are cool little trick here. Some messages I saw before kind of give you a hint. Uh, so if you wait for this to go, you're going to wait until this explodes first. And then you, you want to jump, but then turn around and kind of back step your way across the rot. It's the fastest way of getting across. That was kind of a really terrible example because I fucked up my jump. Now there's some loot in this cave, but obviously I'm going to run through. And um, there's nothing really to note apart from like a cool... A bow you can get. And then from this you're going to want to go out into this cafe here. And go down. Uh, you can see there's loads of stuff here. That is like a bow I think. A weapon. Uh, but I ignored it because I don't really care. <laughs> so you're going to want to jump up here. Maybe kill that guy because he's annoying. And he's ugly. Keep going down here. And then you should be able to find like. Well a few rats. Uh, just ignore him go past that other mushroom guy uh pass down here before pass down here keep going down here and eventually you come to a big sort of area here now there's a big miranda flower thing uh but you're gonna want to keep going around here until you get to this jump here and then keep running these things should stop before they even hit you because they're quite slow and you can run faster than them and then you're gonna want to keep going to you until you hit the boss fog so inside here you'll find um, something that disappeared. You'll find two clean rot knights. 
Now this area is kind of full of this um, Skelleros shit. So you might not want to step in that. Uh, but it's going to be too clean right now. So now, like I said before about to get a summon sign. Um, it's a 2 on 1 fight. So you might want to get a bit of help if you're a low level. But other than that, the boss is really easy. Uh, but it is 20% weak to fire. Minus 20 to fire. So um, I saw that on the wiki by the way. I looked it up. And um, so if you want to get like a fire grease thing on your weapon, you could do if you want. Uh, fire grease is down here. Uh, fire grease. So you'll get fire damage on your weapon. It'll be quite good against the boss. And then once you actually kill this boss, it'll give you the talisman. Alright, so now I'm down here by the Warmaster's Shack. Uh, this is a little soul farming area for low levels. And for, um, you know, I like to use these guys as a test dummy. Because I was, I just did. <laughs> I like to test weapons on these guys. So I got out here and you can find some big trolls. Now, I do not have the Mandalian, the Talisman, sorry, equipped. So I'm going to kill this guy. If I could actually hit him, it would be nice. Alright, so from this guy, we get a thousand souls. Now, if we equip the gold scarab and go kill another, we get a thousand two hundred. So, a thousand two hundred is twenty percent. So, it's really useful. So, um, yeah, that's it for this one. So, thank you for watching. Um, if you want to see more guides in the future, I plan on doing more. So, maybe stay tuned. I mean, there's guides everywhere for this game. But either way, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.